Tamam biri. No. Hey Delon, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I know you just got here, uh, but you're already seeing the roller coaster ride that this season has been for the Kings. Just how, as a veteran, do you get uh, try to be supportive and try to get them through just the highs and lows that, again, you're two and two in your four games, I think it is, uh, but just all over the place as far as highs and lows? Yeah, uh, I feel like we just have to, you know, stay not too high, not too low. When we win some games, still keep that same focus like we like we're on a losing streak. You know, when, when you're on a losing streak, you come out with a little more sense of urgency. So I feel like. You know, when we're winning and when we're losing, we have to come out with that same sense of urgency. And uh, I feel like that's the best way to stay consistent throughout this long season. Yeah, uh, Delon, kind of following up on that, does this, do you want your guys to feel, I know you're new here, like James mentioned, but do you want your guys to feel like tonight was a, a missed opportunity given, you know, how, how depleted LA has, has been and, and, you know, them coming in here with a, kind of a losing a little bit of a losing streak for sure yeah I mean anytime they're missing their two best guys and you know we've been you know before I got here was a little uh win streak um and the Lakers come in here especially on our home court we of course that was a missed opportunity um especially we're fighting for playoff um you know seating so this was definitely a missed opportunity and uh I, f- I hope everybody uh knows that Marshall Harris Hey, Don, uh, when you look at the last uh, couple of games, is there, is there a common theme that you can pick up on in terms of re- reversing course on what's happened the last two games compared to maybe the first game you played where you guys uh, were, were in control throughout? Um, yeah, the last two games we lost, we have uh, didn't come out to start these games. We haven't came out with that sense of urgency. Uh, we kind of been a little too cool. And, um, you know, I think everybody knows that, that you know, we've been com- we come out a little bit too cool and uh, it's hard to turn on. You know, once that team gets momentum. Um, so I think we just have to come out with a you know, better fight and uh, sustain it for 48 minutes. Tony Harvey. Uh, Delon, you uh, personally, I just want to ask you uh, how you are uh, gelling in with the team the last couple games, even though they have been losses, you didn't up your uh, play. I uh, just want to see, you know, what's your thoughts? You know, are you getting a feel for what they're doing and you kind of understand, you know, the philosophy of the offense and the defense for the Kings? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm getting more comfortable uh, day by day. So, uh, you know, as I get more comfortable, uh, I feel like the play will start to pick up. Um, you know, I, I bring some things offensively and defensively to the table. So, you know, as I'm learning these new schemes and uh, filling out the guys uh, on the team, I feel like uh, we're, we'll start to gel a little bit better. All right, go back to James Hale. Yeah, Delon, with this being a sprint to the finish line here, uh, is there moments where, again, as a veteran, you have to step up and and talk to your team and say something? Uh, for example, like tonight, uh, Harrison has 22 points on seven of eight shooting in the first half, and he finishes with 10, 10 shot attempts, um, where you have to you know, sort of put it to the guys that we got to get these guys involved, especially guys who are having big nights. Um, yeah, I feel like... Um... That just comes with moving the ball a little bit better. Um, I feel like they were switching, so we started to get a little bit uh, one-on-one and uh, take uh, quick shots. So I feel like once the, when the offense is flowing, um, it opens up more shots for everybody. And, um, you know, yeah, he was hot, so uh, we just had to probably give him the ball a little bit more. But, um, you know, I think the, tonight was defensively. Um, we couldn't really get no stops, and – get out in transition, which we're pretty good at. All right, just a couple more. Crystal Salters. Hello, Delon. What, uh, how important for you as a team is to, rea- to react and respond tomorrow on tomorrow's game against the Bucks? And what would you like to improve as a team? Uh, I think just coming on, starting, uh, having better starts. Um, the two games that we lost back-to-back, we didn't come out with uh, an- enough uh, fight. So I think just having a better start and – giving ourselves a chance to build some momentum for 48 minutes. Um, that's probably well, – we can start there and then see what else happens. Jason Anderson. Hey, Delon. Um, <clears throat> you know, looking at these last couple of games, 
games, you know, the, the first game you guys played, there was probably so like quite a bit of freedom, I would guess, right? Because you you were so new and it was just kind of get out there and run stuff. And now that you guys are, are kind of implementing, trying to do more organized, um, running the offense in a more organized way, is that maybe causing uh, just some hesitancy or throwing you guys off by a little bit of a beat right now? No, I wouldn't say. I feel like the first few games I wasn't uh... – I was hesitating, and now the last two, I'm not. So, for me, I don't think that's been the case. I think it's been uh, defensively just having some better fight, like I keep saying, and um, the offense will figure itself out. Uh, I think the offense is pretty easy as far as just, you know, moving the ball and um, just making the right plays.